Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Hope everybody's had a good Friday afternoon and evening. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, just video palooza around here. <laughs> uh, I missed y'all so much I had to record extra stuff today. Uh, well, yesterday I just, uh, I didn't want to do videos. <laughs> so I didn't. So there. <laughs> I hope y'all understand that. Let's see, here we go. There, that's a little bit better. I was reaching to, for the camera and it was, you know, too far back. Anyway, um, so yeah, I did, did some errands, errands today and uh, did that video outdoors and did a member's video. Now I'm doing this vlog video. So, um, I'll just, um, oh, when I had, I had some happy mail, uh, happy birthday mail from uh, Cindy over at Pups and Crochet that I'm going to show y'all. Um, but first, I'll tell y'all what happened with Piper's uh, hoodie. I had to start all over with the panel, the first panel. Y'all remember where it was when I saw it, showed it to you last? <laughs> well, I had to frog it all back because guess what? My silly self made it too wide. Oh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. No, it was not fine. It was too wide. So, yeah. This is where I'm back up to after frogging it. So I went from 97, a, cha a starting chain of 97 to a cha starting chain of 75. So there you have it. So this is where we are now. It's still a little wide, but I can just, I can make it work still. I'm, I'm not redoing that again. Mm, no, I'm not. And I am using a 5.5 millimeter hook on this. And so I'm reworking that. And, um, I'm also working on this hat. Ooh, now that I've did something with the yarn anyway. And I don't know what I did with the ball band to this yarn. Um, uh, and now, yeah, okay. It's been that kind of day, y'all. It's hooked here. And it's making it get tangled. But this is some I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. Y'all know. Y'all know how I roll. <laughs> But, um, I did the, um, the two, the knit one, pearl, pearl one, uh, ribbed, um, I did this on a video with y'all to get it started. But, uh, yeah, I did this, uh, brim here. And then I'm doing the owl eye stitch for the rest of the hat, which is, of course, going to take a long time because it's small gauge, one strand looming and so it takes a while but it, it's come it's coming out pretty it's gonna be pretty it'll be a pretty hat when it gets done <laughs> sometime between now and the, and the time it gets cold enough for johnny to wear it because that's probably who will end up with it because he's got a big head and that's gonna make a big hat and let's see i made a little progress with this uh scarf on the go project i met, i did a couple of rounds on this yesterday um but just a little progress not much at all not much at all um most of yesterday was reworking that panel um this is probably going to be a shorter video than usual I'm, i don't know i may do sit back and crochet and talk to y'all a little bit but um let me show y'all what cindy sent me uh, let's see, uh, let's see, let me get the card here first. And she's, let's see, little butterflies. I like butterflies. Uh, hi, Amanda, happy birthday. I hope you like your gifts. I don't think you have tried this yet. And then she says, love Cindy, Robert, Peanut, Angel Monkey, and Angel, no Angel Noah. Love you. So when her she's got uh she lost a dog too last year and um then she lost a bird so that's what she calls her angel babies maybe i should have that's how i should start referring to axel as my angel axel anyway but she sent me some yarn and she's right. I have not had this particular yarn. I've seen this yarn on Mama G's channel. Mama G Gear. Uh, had, lots of people sent her this yarn because she had planned on making um, 
a cape with or something with it a big thing with it uh but this the this uh pat patrons um patents patents not patrons pat patents <laughs> cobbles uh it's uh, 3.5 ounces 100 grams uh 41 yards it's 49 percent wool 49 percent acrylic and two percent nylon it's made in turkey uh the color is called moon rock i think you probably i don't know i don't know if i can get a hat out of that or not i might be able to get get a hat out of that on a loom i'll have to give it a try and see but it would make a big old chunky hat on a loom maybe uh let's see what it costs. it's a bulky six so it might make a it might make a hat it might I'll try it on the uh, medium sized loom, not the not the biggest. I'll probably try it on the um, the next size down, you know, for a kid. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think it's. I don't think there's enough yardage here for uh, an adult size hat, but maybe for a kid. Yeah, or a small headed adult. I know one of them. <laughs> And then she sent me two skeins of this beautiful stuff. Uh, it's uh, Bamboo Joy from Premier. This is a discon long since discontinued uh, yarn. It's 50% um, rayon from bamboo and 50% acrylic. I think I had some of this at once upon a time, but not in this color. This, is, this color is called Tiger Lily. It's a three-weighted yarn, uh, 328 yards, 300 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 uh, grams. And, uh, but this, this is a lovely shade of orange. I really like this. Um, I want to say I got, I maybe have something that I can put this with. I, I, there's two skeins here. So, um, hmm. I don't know, but I'll figure something out. 600 and almost 660, uh, about 658 yards. So I should be able to figure, I should be able to pair this with something. Um, yeah, I should be able to pair that with something and make it work. I don't know what yet, but I will because I, I've worked with this, um, a little bit. I don't remember if I actually made anything with it or I just played with it. I think I just played with it. And, um, and then I gave it all to Cheryl. <laughs> I think I gave most of it to Cheryl. Um. And of course now now that my joints have recovered enough that I can, you know, use three weight, I'm kinda wishing I hadn't, but that's okay. Uh and then she sent me this cute little uh, Mandela craft cake. Look at that little heart shape in there. Isn't that cute? I'm not how many yards is that? Uh eighty eight yards. Okay. It's hundred percent acrylic as a three weight. So I'm not sure exactly what that will make, but um I don't know. I might I might, I'll pair it with something and make something. Or just keep it because it's cute. Got a little heart in there. Probably just keep it because it's cute. That's probably what she did. <laughs> Knowing her. And then she's got something in a Ziploc here. And I've looked at all this. Because I'm a cheater. I just cheat. I look at my stuff before I show it to you. <laughs> And let's see here. There's a note in here. It says, Hi, Amanda. I made you some zipper pulls. They go on your purse, coat, or anything with a zipper. Or you can use them as stitch markers. P.S. Uh, I put some st stickers in for you. Some I'm, I'm not sure what that says. LOL, something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's see what the zipper pulls look like. And I'll put these on my uh, new backpack. I bought me a, a black backpack for the um, crochet and out in the wild uh, outdoors. And I love these. These are strawberries. This is perfect. Because I love strawberries. So, they're right up there with peaches in my book. Too bad you can't get canned strawberries. That wouldn't work out. I don't think I don't think you can can strawberries. But, 
I don't know how that would work. But, uh, yes, I love these. I will put them on my uh, backpack. Because it has tons of zippers. <laughs> so this will work perfectly on there. I'm going to put them right over here because my backpack is behind the tripod. And I'm going to put them on there. And yes, there are stickers. One is going on the van. If I remember correctly. Yes, yes, this one is going on the van. I love my dog. And I do very much love my dog. Yes, I love my Theodore. And this one probably should go somewhere nearby bless this mess because my place stays a mess because i get it i get it cleaned up and then i start working and then everything because <laughs> when i'm working i start digging for things you know to get to yeah it doesn't last and this one is a uh it says don't call me kitty there's a kitty with a patch on its eye yeah i'm not sure about that <laughs> I see this one says kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Then there's a little bit of a glare, but there you go. And here's an American flag. This one really doesn't um, pertain to me. I don't know who it does, but it says whiskey makes me frisky. Mm, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> it's a funny sticker, but I don't drink alcohol. Uh, and this one's kind of cool. It's like a, like some visor, uh, safety glasses or something with a mountain scene in them. I like that. I think that's cool looking. But yeah, stickers. <laughs> She's always got plenty of stickers. I'm not sure where she gets her stickers, but she gets, she gets a lot of them. But this, this vinyl sticker, I love my dog. That'll go on the van. I have other stickers on my van. I got one that says, uh, you can't buy love, but you can rescue it. <laughs> and then another one that says, do you follow Jesus this closely? <laughs> and then I have a heart with a, uh, that looks like it's, it's like a yarn, yarn ball shaped like a heart with a crochet hook across it. And then I have a, uh, like a glittery, um, turquoise glittery sticker that has my, um, you know, it has at tapmama73 and then the YouTube symbol. Yeah, all across the back of my van, my windsh back windshield of my van. And I'm going to add this. I love my dog sticker to it, too. So, thank you, Cindy. And I'll have a link for Cindy in the description box. Please go check her out and give her a subscribe. Run her playlist. She's had some sickness. Uh, she battles with various sickness. And she's had some unfortunate family sickness and stuff that's taken her away from her channel. But she tries her best to get some videos out. And she tells the best stories. I swear she does. She, she'll keep you in stitches. She's so funny. And I dearly love her. So, and I think y'all will too. Um, so, go, go give her a subscribe. And if you have time to run her playlist in the background, it would be mostly appreciated. And, um... Well, I think that's about all I got for tonight. Just a short one for y'all. I still got to record devotional videos. And, um, mm, I'm, my caffeine's wearing off. <laughs> I might have to go fix something. Uh, mm, I was up and down again last night. And then I got up early to, um, go, uh, take, pick up Will's paycheck and put it in the bank for him so that he could go and pick up something on his lunch break instead of having to go put his check in the bank. So, um, you know, I didn't mind doing that, you know, what are moms for? You know, it didn't put me out too much and I still managed to get over to the uh, recycling center and, uh, take the cardboard over there from Mount St. Cardboard. <laughs> if you've been with the channel long enough, you know that I had a bunch of cardboard boxes in my dining room that I referred to as Mount St. Cardboard. And um, I, I dismantled that yesterday and collapsed all the boxes after taking all the addresses off the boxes. And then I took it over to Bossier to the Recycle Center today and dealt with that. So, um, no more. 
No more big stack of cardboard in my dining room. Now I have to deal with all the other stuff in the dining room because it's been used as storage. So there's stuff in there that um, I haven't found places for in the house yet. Um, we've been here two years. <laughs> and there's still stuff in boxes. <sighs> but I'm, get, I'm, I'm chipping away at it. I am. I'm chipping away. But there's just... Uh, so much stuff. I didn't real. You, you just don't realize how much stuff you have crammed in, su in such a small place until you move to another place, and then you're going, "Where am I put all that?" But I just need to go in there and throw away some more stuff. Stuff. That it, uh, you know, you just have. To, it comes a time when you have to go through stuff and say, "Okay, I haven't touched you or looked at you in two years. You need to go to Goodwill, or you need to go into the trash." You know, because a lot of that stuff I hung on to for sentimental value, sentimental reasons. You know, stuff that I'd had since the kids were little or through, through, through our lives, you know, that I hung on to for sentimental reasons. And sometimes junk is just junk. So, yeah, I think it's coming to that, to that point where junk is just junk. And I think... Um, we're going to have a clear out and um, free up that space and uh, make there's, you know, and clear some wall space for my paintings that are just stacked around and uh, put up my paintings and um, get them out of a box, you know, because they are art and uh, I am proud of them. So they should be on the walls, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't have any particular decor um, theme, you know. I know a lot of people have, uh, they decorate in themes or, you know, uh, color schemes or, you know, things like, I, I admire people that can do that. They can color coordinate rooms and make things look really beautiful. That's fantastic if you're talented that way. Me, I'm more of a hodgepodge kind of person. I just, uh, I, I don't decorate. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been a decorator. I mean, look at this behind me. You know, even where my, I have my babies up there, that's just decorate. That's just, they're just kind of leaning on each other. And, you know, yeah, I need, I need, I need, sh I need a shelf to put them on versus being on the top of these cubes. I, they, they need, they need something better. They need something better. They, they do. They need better pride of place than where they are. Uh, but I just, uh, at the moment, I don't have it. I need to, I need actual shelves instead of just these cute things. Um, because I know that I could spread them out and, and make them look more presentable if they were on an actual shelf. But finding shelves, you know, for a decent price when you don't have a whole lot of disposable income is not an easy task to do. And then transporting said shelves from wherever you're getting them from to your home when all you have is a minivan. Not always an easy task either. So, but one of these days. But for now, I think I'll settle for tackling the dining room this weekend and seeing what all I can clear out, what's going to go to Goodwill, what's going to go to the curb. And then there's some boxes in there by the kitchen that need to be dealt with of some cooking cookware and stuff like that that we've never taken out of the boxes there's some coffee mugs that have never I, I drink out of two coffee mugs it's either my pity mama coffee mug or my pray 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 coffee mug because my other coffee mugs are still in a box somewhere <laughs> not after this weekend though no I'm going to tackle that and deal with that and uh, yeah I think I'm going to tackle that this weekend and see if I can't get that area cleared out because you can't do anything in the dining room for all the crap that's in there and I'm a little tired of looking at it so yeah Johnny's gonna just have to brush up on his his doing skills he's been lounging and and just doing dishes every now you know dishes every day and it's time for him to do something else yeah I'm I, I might have to uh, find a mask because it's very dusty and so my COPD will go crazy. I'll end up at the doctor getting a shot or something. 
So I may have to like, I got a, I got a bandana or something around here that I can probably just put around my face while I'm dealing with all the dust. I'm probably going to have to do that because otherwise I will uh, end up with a breathing machine attached to my face. Mm. But that's probably what's kept me from dealing with all that stuff is the dust and the, you know, the ha having it around my face and stuff. But I will find a way. I'll find a way to deal with it because uh, it's really starting to bother me that it looks like it looks. And uh, mm, I, I need need to free up space in the dining room so that I can, you know, free up space in my own my room. I just need to room. I need more room. <laughs> I need more room because it's it's crowded in here <laughs> anyway i hope y'all have a good night i'm gonna uh, do a couple of devotional videos and then call it and try to work on this uh this hoodie and watch some more chicago pd i'm trying to catch up on chicago pd i think they've got a new season coming out and i'm way behind uh, because I didn't watch it for a couple of seasons. So I'm trying to catch up. But uh, I love y'all and so does Jesus. And please remember to adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.